Hello, today I'll be demonstrating how to transfer users from one Cisco IAM Presence server to another. And there are reasons why we need to do this sometimes. Number one is that one of the IAM servers need a reboot. And another is if we're in a specific mode, especially balanced mode, and for some reason, the users are not balanced on each server, which means they're not equally distributed. So before I start, I will show you where in Core Manager, we go and change the parameter for balanced or non-balanced on the IAM Presence servers. So we select System, Enterprise Parameters, Browse down to user configuration, user management parameters, and in user assignment mode for presence server, we're on balance mode. There are two other modes, active standby and none. But balanced is what equally distributes the users on each server. So to find where I am presence is located, we go back to system system and then presence redundancy groups. In presence redundancy groups, I click on default cups subcluster. And in here I have two servers, NY presence and NJ presence. As you can see, I'm in high availability. So these two servers are clustered. On each server, there are two active users in the balance mode. So if I want to reboot one server, there are two ways I can transfer these users. So one, is to fail over. So if I want to reboot NY presence, I can fail those users over. And what will happen is the two users on NY presence will fail over to NJ presence. Over. Usually doesn't refresh, so what I do, I hit the back to and I'll go back in. And that way I can check the status. I'm still failing over. Okay. So as you can see, there are now four active users running on NJ presence, which is running in backup mode. And NY presence is idle. So at this point, if we wanted to, we could reboot NY presence. And that would not affect the IAM presence users using Cisco Java or any other software. I will fill this back and show you another way of moving users. This method is actually a slower method than the one I'm going to show you now. So the other method is to go to user management, assign presence users, and let's do a find. Assign all selected. 
and choose a server. So I'm going to assign them to my primary server, which is NJ Presence, and select Save. You're about to move four users to server NJ. Two were there. I selected four, and in reality, only moved two. So if I go back to Presence Redundancy Groups, all four users are assigned to NJ Presence. At this point, it's now safe to reboot NY Presence. As you can see, no users remain on NY Presence. And if there were users that remained and a reboot was made, those remaining users that were on this server would no longer function and would have to wait for that server to be brought up again. So best practice is always to disable high availability. So I'll be doing that right now. And, and the reason is it, it could cause database uh, sync issues or when the other server comes up, there could be a sp split brain. Uh, the primary server may not know that it's the primary server and the secondary server may be fighting to become the primary server at the same time there is a primary server. So this takes this will take time for both those servers to figure out which is primary and we don't want that. By me disabling high availability when the secondary, secondary server boots up, it's very uh, simple to do a failback or to bring it back online by re-enabling high availability. This point, High availability is not enabled. NY presence will be rebooted. So let me launch Putty. NY presence. And initiate the reboot after a login. And I was just double checking. If I go to Cisco Unified as Core Manager IM and Presence, you can see NJ Presence has four users. And Y Presence, zero. Yeah. Okay, the command to reboot. Utils, system, restart. Do you really want to restart? Yes. Type yes. Take up to five minutes. As you can see, the server has rebooted. I'll continue this video after all services have started. I have confirmed all services are running on the NY Presence server that was rebooted. So now let's go into Core Manager and re-enable HA. System. Presence Redundancy Groups. 
find the four cups of cluster and enable. Okay, HA is now enabled, but as you can see, the users are not balanced. So rather than clicking on failover here, which I'm not going to do, it takes so much time, I'm going to go into user management, assign presence users, and rebalance users. And now, as you can see, the users are completely balanced across both servers in the high availability cluster. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was very informative. Please like and share and stay tuned for weekly content. In addition, if there are any other topics that you'd like me to cover, please comment in the section below.